I've been trying to wake up using natural lighting instead of a stupid alarm. That's why I leave this part of the curtains open. Let's just say that today's weather is, it's not so good. I did not oversleep. I don't know what's going on with my hair these few days, but it's extra fluffy for some reason. After I blow dry it now, it just naturally falls. Super convenient. I don't know if it's the hair dryer that they provided, but it writes something like Nano E on it. If it's short for making your hair extra fluffy, please let me know and I'll buy it. I have been doing something that I haven't done for a long time. Thinking. And for someone who rarely uses his brain, it means a lot. Maybe it's that one time in my life where I get a complete sense of peace and quietness for a prolonged period of time that enables life thinking to happen. I also want to take a chance to summarize my time living alone and also summarize 2023 while I'm at it because it's that time of the year again and I'm getting fucking old. Living alone is inspiring to say the least. I know my viewers are very international and some of you might already be living alone since high school or university. But since rent in Hong Kong is ridiculously expensive, I cherish every single moment that I have while living alone. <laughs> The good thing, obviously, is you don't have a bedtime. You don't have to wait to use the bathroom. Your stuff is almost always where you left it. Which could be a bad thing. I lost my phone again. You can finally talk to yourself out loud without being judged, which is what I mostly do anyways. You can literally do anything you want without having to explain to anyone. You can go out at 3am without waking up your parents. The freedom is unmatched. Now, before I go completely crazy at 3 in the morning, I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Grammarly. Transitioning from being a student to now a professional working environment is not the easiest thing in the world, but Grammarly is something that I've used and has kept in my daily toolkit for the past three years, especially now when it comes to writing emails and proposals to companies that I potentially want to work with. Grammarly is the AI writing partner that helps professionals write efficiently and makes your writing simple to read and straight to the point and makes potatoes like me look like professionals. Grammarly has also saved me tons of times, whether it's on drafting or editing lengthy documents. So I have more time to work on passion projects like this one. When it comes to AI, Grammarly is very serious about customer data and privacy and does not allow third parties to use personal data to train their AI models. So you can be sure that you are always in control of your personal data. And the best thing is all the features that you just see are completely for free to use. You can sign up using the link grammarly.com slash Kia. You know, it's the little things in life that makes the biggest difference. That's what she said. And now I'm just bringing you guys to some of my favorite midnight chill spots in Hong Kong. Because it's 3 in the morning and we have nothing better to do. Your unemployed friend at 3 in the morning. They tell me I in love and I will love them back. This is my first chill spot. It's Repulse Bay, Tin Soi Wan. There is no one here. Of course, there's no one here because it's 3 a.m. Why would anyone be here? Which is good because I can film without being judged. Anyways, when I properly think about it, it's not like living alone doesn't have its downside. For one, cooking was definitely a pain in the ass. I highly, highly miss my mom's cooking. Your boy trying to uh, bulk up a little bit, trying to hit the gym a little bit more. If you don't have any self-discipline, then living alone will speed up the process of you becoming a proper failure. If you're sick, 
you're on your own. If you fuck anything up, you're also on your own. If you're used to socializing, which is something that I can never relate to, you will have a tough time living alone. All the things I truly wish would happen Right before my eyes, before they open I think it's inevitable to feel lonely when you're living alone. I keep myself occupied with filming and editing, so I don't really think it's a big deal to me. I don't think loneliness is the problem. I think it's how you deal with it that matters a lot more. 2023 is coming to an end, and it is that time of the year again where I think, have I wasted my year again? I always think that I didn't accomplish much, but once I properly sit down and think about it. But now looking back at 2023, I did quite a lot of crazy shit. I finished university, which is a miracle. I graduated on time, which is an even bigger miracle. I somehow became a teaching assistant. I took my mom to Japan on a trip for her birthday, drove a sick ass car back to university. And now here I am living alone for the first time. As for 2024, I don't really have any expectations. I don't like having expectations because the more expectations you have, the more disappointment you're gonna get. And I think I already have enough disappointments in my life. I also don't like to write down New Year's resolutions because they never work. I think as long as I keep everything consistent, things should naturally fall into place. Thank you, 2023. It has been an amazing year and I'm looking forward to 2024.